also want to go over some mods for you guys. Now, I've been asked in the past about some of these mods, which is why I'm making this video. Now, um, basically, you know, if you don't know how to install these mods, please refer to my other video, which I'll have in the description. Um, basically, all you have to do is use VRChat Melon Assist to install the mod. Now, if the mod isn't on there and I provide a GitHub link, then you have to manually place it in your mods folder. But anyway, so for the first mod, it's called Stylator. And basically what this mod does, it lets you recolor the VRChat menu. Now, you could configure the color to whatever you want. So for me, I have it on black. But if you click this gear icon, and then click this icon with the arrow, um, this is going to be hidden for you. So you're going to want to click mod settings. We're going to want to scroll down and find Stylator. Now in here, you're going to want to click configure mix and styles. Now you're going to want to make sure this lemon one is on disabled because default it's going to have melons as the background image. Now you can customize that image, but I'm not going to show you guys that in this video. If you guys want that, uh, leave a comment and I'll think about doing that. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to find the RGB values for the color that you want. Now, there is a site which I will have in the description. And basically all you do, whichever color you want, you just, you know, select what color you want here. I'm going to do like a purple. So these are going to be the RGB values. So if you go over to menu base color, click this icon with the three dots. Now, our RGB values are 95, 21, 138. So 95 space, uh, what did I say? Tw uh, 21, 138. So 21, 138. Click done. Your menu is going to be reskinned. Um, you can also do accent colors, which is icons. And you could choose if your laser uses the accent color too. So you would just click that, type it in there as well. You can also do text color, I guess. Um, or if it's empty, text color will use whatever color accent is. So you can see that it's purple now. Um, and then for the next mod, it's going to be instance history, which this mod adds an icon right here, this little page. You click on it. And any world that you previously have been in, it'll be logged in here. So you could easily rejoin a world that you like maybe if you're hopping around and you want to go back to like a world you were previously in you would just open this up and you would just click whatever you know world that you have that you want to go to so if i were to click room of rain it would take me to that world now you might have to here let me go to it uh instance history okay so these are my settings for it. Um, I have this disabled. If you have this disabled, it should ignore these right here. But it'll place the icon there with that disabled. So uh, after that, the next mod I want to show you guys is Favcat Restored, which basically is a unlimited avatar favorites mod, which locally stores it on your computer. So uh, it's going to look like this default. Click plus. And then you could choose any avatar you want. So um, if you're trying to offload a bunch of like favorites off another client or VR chat plus category, just click on the avatar, click fave. It gets stored there. And if you click this S, you can rename the category to like fave or whatever. Um, and then after that, um, there is also another mod called Advanced Safety, which is a free Anti Crash. Now, this isn't going to be as good as like another client's Anti Crash, like Void Client, but for a free Anti Crash, it works pretty good. Now, you could configure all of the settings all in here, and then there's also Advanced Safety Bundles, which supposedly antes and protects you from corrupted asset bundles that can crash you now um i believe this loads in another environment i'm not for sure somebody could comment on that in the comments but 
Um, me personally, I use Void Client for my Anna Crash because it doesn't use any separate environments. But um, for this video, I just want to show you guys that. Um, there is one other or two other mods, I should say, that I want to show you guys, which the next one is going to be Flex Mod. So for this mod, if you go into your radial, so go to options, go to flex. If you turn flex on, you could go to presets and you could turn off bloom. You could have sleep mode and you know, this is really handy. So you could be in any world. You could dim any world if it's too bright. You could turn bloom off if you know, lights are too like bright in VR. Um, you could also manually configure all the settings and I could see this being very useful for people who do avatar showcasing because you could basically recolor, you could manipulate the post processing, which is pretty cool. Um, and then for the next mod, um, so for join notifier, if you click this little icon or click this gear and click this icon, you could configure all of its settings in here. So you could basically show friend join leave only. So you would toggle this, uh, notifying public instances. Now, if you want to see if like anybody joins, even non friends, you would turn that off. Uh, everything else is all, you know, your preference. Uh, basically it adds an icon down on the right of the mic icon. So if anybody joins, um, let's say if your friend named Alex joins, it would say Alex joined and, uh, or you could have it be set so where if they leave it'll show that as well and it'll play a sound. Um, the last mod I want to show you guys is called Mic Visualizer. Um, basically you can see the bar underneath my mic icon which is kind of like my it's my mic level so you can see basically how loud you are. Now if I get closer to my mic you can see that the level goes up higher because it's getting louder. Um, now if you go back to settings you could configure that uh mic level visualizer so you can change it to vertical if you want personal preference whatever you want so you can see it's vertically with the mic icon now that pretty much wraps it up for the video um if there's any other mods you guys want me to go over or if there's anything else you guys need to know uh drop it in the comments or join my discord server in the description um i'll have all the download links for the mods in the description as well but um this pretty much wraps it up and I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll probably make a video on a free client for the next video or two. Um, so keep an eye out for that.